Welcome back to the channel and today we're continuing on with that um, armoured troop transport or tr armoured troop carrier build from GHQ and we did the unboxing just uh, in a previous video and now we're going to the assembly and the first thing I do is pick up the main part of the model and just look for any flashing um, you might have along the side and you can use a file, probably knife to uh, clean it up so there's quite a bit of flashing across there but I'll just use the hobby knife and just run that across that front there and just take a chunk of flashing off across that front and also files good help tidy up any bits of flashing you might have so you can buy dedicated files I'm just using a cheap shit a cheap set and um yeah you can pick up files and give it a, a bit of a tidy up and just work your way around the model have a look so once I'm sort of happy that that flashing's off and most of the model looks pretty good the first part I'll assemble is this center superstructure here which is in my hand I normally orientate the model to look like the exploded picture or the assembly guide so let's have a look and that larger section which is this section is the is facing to the bow so i'll just quickly test fit it if i'm happy just using store-bought super glue nothing special and i'll just put a few drops across there to give it a really good bond and just line it up sit in there give it a bit of a push and then the next part I'll do is this rear piece here I'm not exactly sure what it is but um I'll try and find out and the flatter side goes in towards the, the ship towards the landing craft so that way around so this sort of V cutout area faces towards the outside of the um, stern and I'll just drop that in next so we've got the two those two parts on the why that starts to dry I'll just move it up there then I'll have a look at this canopy. I think any little bits of flashing. We just tidy it up with a hobby knife or file. And because I want to make this canvas cover removable, so it sits on top there. and of course you can glue that in place no worries but i want to be able to take them on and off there might be times when i want to put a apc or something on there um, or remove the cover and i want to crew these at some stage so i just get a little bit of blue tack that's a big bit but i'll break that down a bit i'll just stick that on the front in there like that and then I'll put this canopy over the top of that blue tack. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to prime all this together like that and then we'll, in, we'll hand paint, uh, brush paint the remainder of, of the primer in where it hasn't made contact with the model because the blue tack's there. So that's just to leave that on there, leave it, keeps it secure till we can brush paint all that. Next, I'll work on the machine guns and this one has a tiny little bit of flashing on that barrel just be careful with your machine guns they they are tiny don't want to break them and normally i'd put blue tack under where i put the turrets but i'm gluing these ones in place and if you look at them together once you've straightened out the barrels there's one in the middle there that has a really badly bent barrel. 
but the taller one, the, this one here is a bit taller than the other two, the one closest to the camera end, um, that's a larger caliber gun. I think they're 20 millimeter auto cannon, so that will go on the center. So that's your highest machine gun. So I'll trim it up, just try and straighten the barrels a bit. And with this build, I'm gonna glue all the machine guns in place. So a lot of times I put a bit of blue tack under them so they can rotate. But with this build, I've decided to fix them all in place. So that larger of the three turrets is our top one. And I just pick an angle to put them on. I don't always face them sort of north, south, east, west or whatever. And this turret off the side, which is a 50 caliber turret. I'll sit down there and I'll probably just turn that one to face forward a bit. So it looks like it's shooting, well, targeting that way. And this last one has quite a bent barrel. So we're just gonna pull that out. Using our tweezers. If tweezers don't quite get it. I'll change to a hobby knife. Tidy up the flashing on the end. Go back to the file just to try and get it flat. And then I'll sit that one in around the other side and do the same, same thing, face it sort of forward a bit. That barrel's still a bit crooked. But It'll be okay. Then the ramp, the ramp can be glued in by the, in the deployed to empty troops out position or the transport uh, position, which is like the ramp up or down. So when you look at the diagram, you'll see that this side is on the outside and then on the inside, you'll have that smooth side. So go around, just trim up any flashing you see on it. We already did the front before. That glue would have bonded by now. And what I do is I'll just run a bit of glue across the across the bow of the landing craft. And I'll pick that piece up, remember the smoothest side innermost. And I'll put that on there. I'll hold that for a few seconds just to let it bond. Try not to do it crooked. And that's the assembly of our armoured troop carrier or armoured troop transport, sometimes they were called. Thanks for watching.